My name is uh, Bella Swipi Fakatabalatu. I am a Tongan. I'm a teacher here at Tamaki College and I'm a teacher of ESOL uh, or English language. Um, I've been here for 20 years. Um, this year and like many years before, I have been the Punake of almost all of the um, Tongan cultural group for the Polyfest which at school here we do it every other year. We don't do it every year. So after this, we miss one year and we continue to do that. So it's a joy for me to do that for our students here at Tomaki College. Abunake in Tonga simply means that the person must be a composer, which means that you have to be able to compose lyrics or meanings for whatever function or whatever topic at hand that you prepare the dance for. Not only that, but a punake must be able to uh, put melodies into that compositional lyrics. And we call it in a Tongan uh, context as whakafasi. The composition is called fatutaanga. And the last thing that a person to be regarded as an incredible punake must be able to be taking on the choreography of whatever the composition of the ta'anga or the melodies that accompany the lyrics of the ta'anga. And choreography, we call it in Tongan, as whakahaka. So for a person to be regarded as a credible punake must be able to do those three things. So the theme for this year is about preserving our Tongan language and our Tongan dance. So I composed five verses for those. So I brought my ideas into my compositions or my lyrics, and we call it the ta'anga. So when I finish composing, I must find melodies to sing each of those verses. So the kids will have to learn not only the lyrics, but they learn the melodies. So after we learn the melodies, then I need to teach the children the haka or the moves to go with the melodies as well as the ta'anga. Then that's what a fiva, and we could call that fiva the ma'ulu ulu dance. It's a sitting dance that boys and girls can do together. It will be different if I do a lakalaka. Lakalaka is a standing up dance, but it is the same uh, process of composition. I must have a tanga, then I have melodies and call it fakafasi, and then I have to do the haka, which are the moves to go to that. So the other valuable thing about our dance, because it helps to, to, to preserve our language as well as our Tongan values. I am helping the young people that I train in this dance to know what they never knew as kids growing up in New Zealand born. So they learn about our Tongan main values of humility, of commitment, of relationships, and so on. So not only I teach the Tongan values that way, but I'm also able to teach them some Tongan language. A punake can be very creative. That's an opportunity to show the wittiness of a punake, but don't change the traditions of our tongue and dance because the way we move our hands is different from the way the Hawaiians move their, do their hand movement. The way we put our head in our teki, it's a tongue and traditional um, haka that brings about our special identity in dance. So it has to be done right. So we also maintain what differentiate us and make us distinct from a lot of other countries, maybe in the Pacific or across the world.